Welcome back to Game On. The second game that we are reviewing today is the second one in the edition of Trine, a successful game in the PC version. Now, this game doesn't have a very fantastic concept. It's a concept that has been done to death before. So you have a knight, a sly thief, and a nervy wizard who have set out on a journey to fight against giant goblins and giant spiders and in the end try to rescue a princess. Nothing novel about the concept, it's been done before, but the game looks like a promising one. Trying 2's environments could have been lifted off the screen of a latter-day Fantasia or from the pages of a particularly lovely storybook. Deep, richly detailed levels pop with lively luminous colour. The forest is home to luscious glowing foliage and glistening colossal snails. The wizard's conjuring powers make him the best suited for solving a puzzle on your own. Through the basic platforming is smooth and accessible with combat that is brisk and straightforward. The heart of the action is physics-based puzzling. So each main character in the game has a distinct set of powers. The knight has a sword and a shield and a warhammer, the thief has a hook and a bow and an arrow and the wizard has the power to levitate objects like boxes and everything and use it as a weapon to throw at you. Now if you're playing in single player mode then you can instantly flip to other characters. One thing that the game has done brilliantly is that it hasn't tried anything fancy or over the top and thus made it all confusing and complicated. The graphics are brilliant and at the same time, it's extremely easy to maneuver the characters. New elements such as movable portals, water wheels and lava streams come thick and fast in addition to memorable one-offs such as a house-sized frog that lassos giant fruit with its tongue.
In this edition of the game, a new multiplayer mode has been added, which is the online multiplayer mode. Now, although this game is for kids who are below 10 years of age, it does add a lot of enjoyment factor to the game. What happens is all three of your main characters can play simultaneously. And this means that you can combine the, the, the efforts, you can combine the abilities that they have. So you have a wizard who can levitate a thief in midair, giving him a different angle to shoot arrows from. Now I know I've already said it once that this game is for kids who are below 10 years of age, but all this experimentation does make the game much more enjoyable. Trine 2's physics engine is robust and fine-tuned and noodling about with it is engrossing in its own right. The game is generously rigged to allow for the guilty pleasure of fudging a solution when the elegant answer is out of reach. Titiering structures of magic planks can be used to bypass clever gate mechanisms altogether or the same planks can be jammed gracelessly into the gears. The storybook style narration is genteel and the heroes are amiably voiced. The music is rousing too. Here, as with story and setting, Trine 2 cleaves comfortably to the genre with all of the cheery piping of a high-class renaissance fair. In a nutshell, there seems to be this general consensus amongst reviewers that Trine 2 is a huge development over its predecessor Trine. Well, you can go and check out the game for yourself and my ratings are coming up right after this review. You can also let us know which games to review. If you have spotted something which is latest in town and you would want us to review it for you, you just need to send a feedback to feedback at ntv-hindu.com. The ratings would be followed by the question of the week. Try to answer that and I'll see you again next week. The concept restricts the game to kids below 10 years of age, 5 on 10. The graphics of this game are mind-boggling however, 8 on 10. You would enjoy this game if you like fan fiction, 8 on 10. The soundtrack of this game is nothing noteworthy, 6 on 10. And the question of the day is which of the following is one of the main characters in Trine 2? A. Plumber, B. Soldier, C. Wizard or D. Doctor? Send any answers to feedback at ndtv-hindu.com and win exciting prizes. You can also now follow us on Facebook.